Hi, this is Scott with Spectre Gear, and I've done a couple of videos so far on how to do cross shoulder transitions with two point slings. And I've talked about how to do the cross shoulder transitions with two point slings attached to a Magpul type stock. And then I've talked about the other method where the sling is attached in its traditional point on the, uh, the off side of the stock. One thing I didn't talk about was how to do a two point transition when you have a two point sling attached and it's receiver mounted. I'm going to throw a couple of things at you that you need to uh, be aware of before you think about setting one of these slings up like this. First off is there's a number of um, receiver mounts that feature an attachment below the buffer tube. You're going to want to avoid those because with a two-point setup, you're going to be dealing with that sling coming into the web of your hand all the time. So you're going to want to have some kind of receiver mount that's above the web of your hand on the side of the receiver at the rear. So that's one consideration. Now the transition is done in pretty much the same way as the transition for uh, the other slings where the sling is attached on the strong side of the stock and that is you're going to have to kind of swim out of the sling and wear it around your neck in order to execute the transition. Now there is another solution that is in some ways uh, much superior and that is a sling that gives you all of the benefits of a two-point sling but yet is convertible when need be into a one-point sling and that's our two to one or uh, yeah two to one convertible slings and we have several different versions of that and we'll cover over time each one of those on the range but today what I'm featuring is what's called our TCS sling and in the tabletop video that I did on this sling. Uh, I discussed a lot of the salient features of it. Basically, it's half of a Viper sling and half of a Raptor sling. And we've combined the two together to form a, a pretty versatile sling. So the way this system works is uh, you're running in your normal two-point format, just like so. But if you run into what we call a high transition environment, for instance, you're gonna to have to enter a building and move through that building clearing a lot of corners. That means you're gonna be doing a lot of cross shoulder transitions. And of course for that, it's already a known thing that the one point sling is the king of cross shoulder transitions. So given the time to do this, and again, this is not something you would do if you were under duress. This is something you do when you're setting up to go hit the building. All we're going to do is there's an HK type hook at the front that attaches to the swivel. We're going to remove that. We're gonna come back to this steel D-ring that we have at the rear. And all we're gonna do is we're going to clip it in place. Once we've done that, we've now effectively, uh, effectively converted the sling into a one-point sling. So from here, our cross-shoulder transitions are extremely fast from one side back to the other. And live fire, it looks like so. Hand transfer, back to the other side. And back again. So an incredibly versatile sling, and when the time comes, if you need to lock that weapon down, so or, you know, get some forward control, maybe you might uh, need to do some suspect control, or you're going back into kind of a normal format back out on the perimeter, you just simply run it back forward, hook it up to your, your uh, swivel at the front of the weapon, and you're good to go. It's that easy. So incredibly versatile sling, the two to one convertibles. And like I said, we have multiple versions of those slings available and we'll cover each one as time goes by, but we have videos where we're gonna be laying out uh, all of the features of each one of those in the future. So with that, I'll go ahead and bring it to a close. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.